Hi there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we will be talking about how we can set up complete IDE for Flutter development. So in this video, we will start from scratch and then we will install every single application that you need for Flutter development. So let's start with our Flutter SDK first. So in this video, we are going to install Flutter 3, which is as of now the latest version available. So what we need to do here is simply open your browser and now here we need to write flutter sdk download okay now here we can see this link uh, which says uh, docs.flutter.dev and then we need to click on this one and then i'm also going to provide you this direct link in the description of this video so that um, you don't want to reach to this page so that you can easily reach to this page and now uh, you need to select your OS since here we're going to talk about Windows so we will be selecting Windows and now um, here I can see the latest stable version of Flutter is 3.3.9 so I'm gonna click on it and that's how guys the downloading process gets started one thing we need to keep in mind while installing or you know developing or while doing setup for Flutter IDE you should have good internet connection and uh, you should have enough data available because setting it up going to consume around four to five gigabytes of data pretty easily so here we can see we are about to download this 818 mb of setup and there we go we have successfully downloaded it now the next thing we need to do is we need to set up a folder for this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to paste it here in c drive and now i will be extracting the setup so I would recommend you to extract the Flutter setup where you find it comfortable since you're going to keep it as it is. So you may define certain place. For me, root C drive is good enough. So therefore I'm going to extract it here itself. So let's wait for the extraction process to get ended. So the next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this zip file because um, this is no more longer required. But it's up to you if you want to keep it. Uh, in my case, I just wanted to delete that. Now let's go inside uh, this Flutter folder and then let's go further inside and let's go inside bin. Now copy this path and click on Windows and now type environment variable. And here we go. This is the link that we are looking for, which says edit the system environment variable. Now here, what we need to do is we need to click on environment variable again. And now um, we're going to change this user variable. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select path and then I'm going to click on edit. Now I'm going to click on new and then I will be pasting the path that I have copied this one. So what this will do, this will allow us to run flutter command from any of um, location, okay, in command prompt. Okay, so now next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here on Windows and then I will type CMD. Okay, now I will be clicking here on run as administrator and there we go. Now let's type here flutter. And there we go. Now we will see that the Flutter tool is working perfectly fine. And we did not saw or face any challenge, um, you know, that Flutter is not recognized or it's not internal or external command. So this signifies that Flutter is working perfectly fine. Now what we need to do is we need to type Flutter, then space, then doctor to see what's pending. So this is actually going to tell you um, what are the pending setups that you need to perform. So Flutter Doctor is kind of diagnostic tool that lets you uh, know that what we need to install. So here we can see uh, Android toolchain is missing which is um, Android SDK and the second requirement is Visual Studio or any IDE. We will be now installing Android SDK now in order to install android sdk let's go back to our browser and this was the page from where we downloaded flutter sdk and don't worry guys i'm going to provide you all the download link directly in the description of this video now we need to type here android 
SDK download and there we go now just click on this first link and from here we can download this Android Studio so let's click here on download Android Studio select terms and condition and hit OK now uh, side by side we can also download visual studio code so i'm gonna write here vs code download okay and let's click here on this link now since i'm using windows i'm going to use uh, or download this setup so here we are seeing we are downloading both the prerequisite which is android studio and vs code so let's install VS Code first. So it's simply just open setup and run wizard. And there we go. So we are about to install this VS Code. And there we go. Now you can launch your VS Code. So this will be our editor where we will be typing our code. So let me just close this. Now let's click on this Android Studio. Click on open. Android Studio might take some time to install. So let's click here on next. And then um, here we need to select next and make sure that Android virtual device is selected such that if in case you do not have android phone or physical device available so just make sure that android virtual device is checked now let's click on next so here we can define new location for android studio but i'm gonna keep it as it is now click next and click install now let's wait for the installation process to get ended and there we go now let's click next and let's click on finish now this will start android studio since we are starting it for first time it is asking us uh, whether we want to import any setting so i'm gonna keep it as it is and i will select this option which says do not import setting now click ok and there we go now here we need to select any option so um, you can select anyone now here we need to click on next and then here we want to set up this android studio as standard let's click next then you can select whether you want light mode or dark mode and then um here we can see the android xdk is selected and the android sdk platform um latest version is also selected and now here we also have selected or checked android virtual device so what does this going to do this is going to download all these files from internet now let's click next so it depends on your internet speed uh, the time that it's going to take and now we just need to accept all these things so based on your internet speed it will take some time so now the next thing we need to do is we need to accept the license agreement so select android dash sdk license and then select this intel extra license and select accept so in this way guys uh, we can um, you know accept these license agreement and terms if you want to read more about these licenses then you can go through them and that will help you to understand what does that mean so let's select them and click on accept and then only you will able to move further now let's click on finish and now uh, here we can see it have started downloading the emulator and other features that we have opted and now we need to click on finish now let's say you want to use android studio itself to develop your flutter app then you can use it now the next thing what we need to do is let's go back to command prompt and type here flutter doctor again and this time let's see what are the pendencies so here we go here we can see um, we have two more pendency left 
which is cmd line tool component is missing and then um, visual studio is not installed and then we need to download this cmd line tools so before actually we download this cmd line tool let's click here on plugin and let's download this flutter and click on install and make sure that you download dart also with it so it actually asked me to download dart as well together so that's why we have downloaded it um, so now we just need to restart this ide so let's start this ide now here we can see new flutter project option up here let's say you want to use android studio as your development environment then you can start state with android studio itself just you need to select flutter here and then you need to specify the path where your flutter is since uh, we have extracted it to c drive and then this flutter window so we just need to select this flutter folder and hit ok now we need to click on next and that's how guys we can start our first application in android studio itself but here what we want to do we want to configure it for vs code so let me cancel it and uh, let's click here on more action and then you need to choose sdk manager now here we need to click on system settings now here we need to click on sdk tools and then we need to select this option which is android sdk command line tools now click apply and then hit ok now the tool installation wizard will start it and now click on finish now let's go back and type flutter doctor again now this time we saw only some android licenses are not accepted so to resolve it we just need to run this command which says flutter doctor android licenses i'm gonna copy it directly from there by pressing ctrl and c now let me press ctrl and v to paste the command and then let me hit ok now let's make it larger and here we just need to accept these license so press y and hit enter again press y hit enter and keep doing it to accept all these licenses and there we go now we can see the message in the end which says all sdk package license accepted now let's run back the same command again which is flutter doctor and this time we should see that all the necessary need or requirement got completed now you really do not need to worry about this visual studio since it is not necessary now let's exit from our command prompt and close it now let me close this android studio as well now the last thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna set up vs code for flutter development so let's click here on menu button and type code and let's start our vs code now here i have already opened project in react so let me just close it and now um, i think i need to define a folder or i can press ctrl and tick key alternatively you can also click here on terminal and click on new terminal and that's how we are here now i'm gonna type here flutter and then i will write create and then i will write my project name for example currency converter and hit ok and there we go we have just created our first project in flutter now let's go to file open folder and now we need to locate our first project now let's click c and then here we have created new folder named flutter and then this cc now select folder and there we go here we have got our complete project that we have just created now click on trust i trust this author and now i think we also need to install few extension so just click on extension and type here flutter and click on install and there we go we also need to install dart here so let me type dart and hit enter and there we go let's install this dart code also 
which i believe together was installed with flutter and then it, this will actually start turning our first code i hope guys you find this video helpful and informational if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content and if you have got any questions or doubt then please do let us know in comment down below we will try to answer your question as soon as possible till then take care and bye bye